Gracious mighty Father, thank you, dear Lord, for this um, evening, for your goodness and grace and love that we can study your word one more time. And Lord, may you forgive our sins and help us, Father, to understand your, your word today. Help us, Father, to understand the wisdom that uh, to depend upon you. And thank you, Father, for your goodness and grace. Guide thy servant and guide each one of us and talk to each one of us through your word, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, and Jacob went on his way and the angels of God met him. So, where is Jacob going? Where was Jacob going? He was going go back, uh, leading his wives, his children, uh, and his servants and all of his um, possessions. Uh, went back to his own father's house, and he is going to meet his brother Esau again. And remember, his brother Esau, Jacob already uh, uh, deceived, or not deceived, um, what that, bought the uh, birthright of Esau and deceived the father to get the um, blessing. And his brother the last time when Jacob left his house, go to Laban, his brother was trying to kill Jacob. Okay? And this time, his father, the father of Jacob, Isaac, already dead. Okay? So, uh, Jacob is coming back and he's afraid that this time Esau may be trying to kill him this time. So he's so, so, so afraid. So uh, Jacob went on his way and the angels of the Lord met him. So there are many angels in blue reform met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, this is God's host. Means a lot, a host, okay? He called the name of that place Maha Naim. And uh, we, we do not know how did um, Jacob met angels and how did Jacob know that they are angels. Uh, it did not show that, uh, it did not record that the angel have wings or have the shining glory or, or what. How, how did Jacob know that those are angels? We do not know. And we do not know specific that if uh, Jacob met the angels in his dream uh, or in reality. We, we do not know also. Okay. And over here, also we do not know the purpose that God sent angels to meet Jacob. Okay. And the conversation between Jacob and them, no answer, no record. So the, the mystery belongs to God. So when it's no record, do not try to ex explore, okay? There's still many things we don't understand. May the Lord will help us to understand in the future. The Bible continues when Jacob sent messengers before him uh, to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Sir and the country of Edom. Uh, Edom. And he commanded them, saying, Thus ye shall speak unto my lord Esau. Okay, so... The word Lord here is, re, uh, is talking about the reference, uh, honor, okay? Like uh, Abraham, uh, Sarah honor uh, her husband, Abraham, and call him law. Uh, not law, Lord, okay? Like that. So, uh, because Jacob is really afraid of Esau, and then, uh, they are brothers. Uh, Esau is older, but uh, in fact, they, he, Esau is just older than him. <laughs> what? Uh, not even a day old. See? They are twins, right? Esau and Jacob was twins. So, but yet, he, uh, Jacob afraid of Esau because the character of Esau. We know that Esau is a man of hairy man, a man of a strong man, the, the man of uh, the hunter, the man of the field. While Jacob is, you know, the man of soft skin, reddish, <laughs> okay? So, uh, that's why Jacob afraid of Esau. And he, he said, uh, my lord is Esau because he just wants to give honor and he's really afraid of Esau. 
And thy servant Jacob said, uh, said thus, I have sojourned with Laban and stayed there until now. I have oxen and ashes, flocks and men servants and women servants. I have sent to tell my Lord that I might find grace in thy sight. So the other is a message. And a messenger. Okay, so if I read alone, I will be boring. Can you read for me, uh, Ma'am Anna? Yes. Um, and the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to thy brother Esau. Esau. I don't know how to pronounce Esau. this. Yeah, Esau. Esau. And also he cometh to meet thee, and 400 men with him. Okay. So... Esau went to meet uh, Jacob with what? With 400 men. Okay, that is a big number. Okay, imagine you are going to meet your brother long time you did not meet him. Instead of bringing gifts, instead of bringing things, Esau brought 400 men with him. So what happened? Verse 7. Can you read Sam? Verse 7. Then Verse. Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed. And he divided the people that was with him and the flocks, the herds, and the camels and two into two bands. Okay. So the Bible said he was greatly afraid. Imagine <laughs> he met Jacob with 400 men. And Jacob has servants, but all ladies and camels. He has not that big number to fight back with Esau. Okay. And then verse 8. And said, if Esau come to one company and smite it, then another company which is left shall escape. So the purpose of Jacob divided his group into many groups to meet Esau, because if Esau kill this group, another group at the back can have time to run away. Okay? Because if they can't go all together, they, all of them might be killed. Okay. Mom, Anna, verse 9. And Jacob said, O Lord of my father Abraham, and God of my father Isaac, and the Lord which say, saith just unto me, Return unto thy country and to thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. Okay. So now we will learn from the Bible that how, how to calm an angry person down. Okay, uh, Jacob is trying to calm Esau down because I think Esau will still remember uh, his uh, angry. That's why he brought four, uh, 400 men with him to meet his brother. Okay, and Esau is just, uh, Jacob is just bringing castle, uh, cattle and then uh, maid servant and then what? And then uh, children. So, first thing Jacob did after he heard the news that Esau is coming with 400 men, first thing he prayed, right? First thing Jacob do is to pray. And what was in his prayer? Oh, God of my father Abraham, God of my father Isaac, the Lord will say it unto me, return to thy country, and I... Uh, and to thy kind red, and I will deal well, what I will deal well with thee. So, in his prayer, he remind God of his promise. Okay? So, in his prayer, he remind God of his promise. And then verse 10. And I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies. This is humbleness, right? And all, and of all the truth which thou hast showed unto thy servant. 
for with my staff, I passed over this Jordan, and now I became and I become two bands. So when before when he passed the Jordan River and and go to Laban, only him alone, no servants, nothing, no one go with him, only with the staff. And now when he came back, a lot of monies, a lot of uh, you know. Uh, cattle in two bands. So the thing he do in his prayer after reminding God is he what? He humble. Humble himself to God. And then what? This is Thanksgiving. Okay? Thanksgiving. That's how he pray. Right? Thank, thanking God about uh, his goodness. Okay, verse 11, Saul, uh, Saul sorry, Saul. Uh, Sam, can you read? Verse 11, sir. Yes. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me, and a mother with the children. Very good. So after thank you, thanks God, he what? He request request okay lord deliver me out of the hands of my brother okay so now after praying okay he continued not yet not yet done and thou sayest i will surely do the good and make thy seed as the sand of the sea which cannot be numbered for the multitude so this is he remind god again of god's promise okay when we pray, the main point is the promises of God. Again, the main point when we pray is the promises of God. Okay? And he locked there that same night and took of that which came into his hand a presence for Esau, his brother. So now he prepared a presence. Okay? After he prayed, Make little p is presence. Okay? He give, prepare a present. Presence to his brother. Okay, what are those presents? Uh, 200 she goats, 20 he goats, 200 ewes, and 20 rams, 30 milk camels with their coats, 40 kind, kind means pigs, 10 bulls, 20 she asses, and 10 foals. Now, a lot will he give all to Saul one time? No. He divided into many times. And he delivered them into the hands of his servants. Every drove by themselves and said unto his servants, Pass over before me and put a space because drove and drove so how many drove okay there's a drove of goats and after that 20 goat uh rows of goats and after that 200 ewes and after that 20 rams and after that uh 30 mitch camels and then after that 40 coins and after that 10 bulls and uh 20 ashes and after that 10 bulls so he divided uh drove every drove by themselves and they not go all together, but they make space after this one, and then maybe, maybe um another space to uh, go on like that. They they are uh uh group after group. So he did not give all the presents at the time, but he gave one at the time. That's what he did. Okay, he prepared the presents. And after that, he gave one at the time. And he commanded the foremost, saying, When Esau, my brother, met thee, and asked, saying, Who's thou? And whither, where are you going? Whither goest thou? Whose are these before thee? Whose are these before thee? Before you, whose flock are these? And then thou shalt say, They be thy servants, Jacob. 
and it is a present sent to my Lord Esau, and behold, he is behind us. So what Esau, uh, what Jacob really do is that he prepare presents one at the time to give, and then another one to give to tell that Jacob, and then Jacob is the last. Okay, Jacob coming last. Presents go ahead, and Jacob coming last one at a time. And also commanded the second and the third all that follow the droves, saying, on this same uh, manner you shall speak to Esau when you find him. Is okay. <clears throat> so when he come, whose flock are those? It's belong to my lord Jacob, and he is giving this to his lord Esau, and behold, he is behind us. And then another flock come again, and another flock come again, one after another. And say ye, moreover, behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the presence. Okay. The word appease. What does it mean, the word appease? Okay. We go to the dictionary. The word appease means to, uh, to cover. Okay. Atonement, cleanse. Okay, uh, in the plural is to face him, okay, to accept. So, I, we have literally translations here, we try it. Uh, I will cover his face by presence, look at that. See, literally means cover. So, Jacob, in his thinking, he covered Esau by his, uh, by the presence. Wow. See? That goeth before me, and afterward, I will see his face. <laughs> so, he's already covered Esau angry, so covered Esau's face by presence, and then after that, he will come. So, basically, Jacob knows the weakness of Esau. Okay? But venture, he will accept of me. Maybe he will accept of me. So went the presence over before him and himself lodged that night in the company. So he just wait. One by one, go, just go, go ahead. But J Jacob just locked, stay at night. Okay? And he rose up that night because so afraid of his soul, he could not able to sleep. He rose up at night, took his two wives and his two wo women servants and his 11 sons and passed it over the uh, fold, Jabob. And he took them and set them over the brook and sent over that he had and Jacob was left alone okay so all of them he sent his wife and children went ahead but he stayed there alone he was the last to come he was the last to come okay uh not because uh he afraid of death but because he want to cover his uh, brother's face uh, by presence, and next he calmed down his brothers by the presence of the the woman, the children, because you know when a man angry, they were not angry with children. So that night, there's something happened when he was alone. They wrestled a man with him until breaking of the day. So there came a man. And that man came and wrestled with him, you know, wrestling in the old time. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, okay, uh, the the man saw that he uh, 
uh, prevail not against uh, Jacob, would not able to wrestle against uh, Jacob. So Jacob now is not a weak man anymore. So that man touched the hollow of his vine. Okay, on the vine here. Ah, very painful. And the hollow of Jacob's vine was out of joints and as he wrestled with him. Okay. And he said, let me go. For the day breaketh. It's already daytime. I will go now. And he said, Jacob said, I will not let you go except you thou bless me. And the man said unto him, to Jacob, oh, sorry, sorry. Jacob said unto the man, what is thy name? Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I miss I, 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 I mix up the two. So this one is the, the, the man said to Jacob, what is thy name? And Jacob said, Jacob. And he said, okay, he is the man over here, the man. Actually, this man is the angel of the Lord, okay? And that was the Lord Jesus uh, in the Old Testament. Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For a prince thou, thou uh, hast thou power with God. Why? Why run out of time? I did not pay. Only 10 minutes left. Okay, after 10 minutes left, we will log out and log in again. Thy name shall be no more Jacob, but Israel. For a prince has the power uh, with God and with man has prevailed. Okay, so what is Israel literally means, which is over here? He will rule as God. So, Israel means he will rule, okay? Israel is a symbol name of Jacob, typically of his posterity, Israel. And Israel literally means he will rule, okay? So, because he already uh, has power with God and with men. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. What is thy name? And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. So the angel blessed uh, Jacob. Okay. And Jacob called the place of the name Peniel. For I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. Okay, for I have seen God face to face. Of course, uh, that is Jesus in the Old Testament, okay? In New Testament, Jesus only came from heaven to earth, or God the Son came from heaven to earth and took upon him the name Jesus, okay? But before he came on earth, he already, uh, before he took upon him the flesh of human, he already there in heaven. And in the Old Testament time, many times uh, the Lord Christ or the Lord Jesus or God the Son uh, uh, came on earth many times in the time of talking with Abraham and in this time wrestling with uh, Jacob, okay? And uh, to let, uh, and he let, he allow Jacob to win for the reason that he can bless uh, Jacob. And he passed over the Penuel, the sun rose upon him, and he halted upon his vine because it was so painful. Therefore, the children of Israel eat not the sinew which shrunk, which is upon the hollow of the vine unto this day, because he touches the hollow of Jacob's vine and in the sinew that shrunk. Okay, but uh, this. This custom, I do not know if still they still apply up to today. Because many uh, custom in the Bible, the Israel nowadays, they do not follow anymore. And Jacob lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, Esau came 
with him 400 men and he divided the children unto Leah and to Rachel and into the two handmaids. So in case if Esau got angry, uh, kill one of the children or one of the wife, another children and wife can fled. He put the handmaids and their children foremost. That's what he did. <laughs> okay. And then after that, Leah and her children after. And after that, Rachel and Joseph, the hinder most. Okay, so the, the later part is Rachel and jo Joseph because Jacob loved most Rachel and Joseph. And he passes over them and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. So what J next he do is to bow about himself that is a picture of um uh humble himself before the man okay we have five minutes left and i will try to summarize it and then Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept Esau went and embraced and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. This to say that Esau's wrath already subsided, right? And he lifted up his eyes and saw the woman and the children and said, Who are those with thee? And they said, The children which God has graciously given to thy servant. And their maidens came near and they and their children and bowed themselves on. So all of them bowed themselves. And Leah with her children came near and bowed themselves again. And after that, Joseph. Uh, near and Rachel, uh, and they bow themselves. So Joseph and Rachel was the last one who came. <laughs> okay, and he said, "What meanest thou by all this drove with men?" And then he said, "These are to find grace in the sight of my Lord." And he said, "I have enough, my brother. Keep that thou hast unto thyself." Okay. And Jacob is begging, okay, even Esau reject, but Jacob begging Esau to receive. I pray thee, if now I have found grace in thy sight, receive my present. Okay, so when, point number next, when uh, uh, Esau reject Jacob, uh, beg to give. Okay. So now, how to calm down any persons? Number one, you pray. Remember of God's promise, you pray. After that, you send the presents, prepare the presents, but do not give all at the time. At one time, no. Give one at a time. One, today give a little, and another one give a little, give another one give a little, and divide it. And that's little is a lot, okay? And last, arranging to come and to prepare in any case. And that humble yourself before the man with soft voice, with soft, uh, you with humble attitude. And if that person reject because of their pride, oh, no, 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 what are you doing? No need, no need. But you beg to give. You know what? Remember this verse. Uh, only two minutes left. I will try to... Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 19. And I will end here. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 19. A feast is made for laughter. Wine maketh merry. But look at this. Money answereth all things. <laughs> A feast made for laughter. Wine maketh merry. But if you want everything need answer, money answereth all things. That is how Jacob calmed Esau down. Is it applicable today? Yes. And many political people, business people, they very well know of using this principle. Okay? <laughs> money answereth all things. Okay, that is uh, how simple it is to calm a person down. Okay, I have only one minute left. I pray and then uh, we, we have questions. Gracious, mighty Father, thank you, dear Lord, 
for this evening and you taught us in many in life there are many people who got angry with us there are many and many dear lord and lord if we really want to come and make friends or reconcile with that person we know first we need to pray second there are presents that we need to give because uh presents cannot make friends but presents can cover the face of a normal people and to a normal persons presents can cover their face and uh this money who answer everything and we can make friends and lord you taught us in the bible that we have to be wise as a serpent or the snake but harmless as a dove and lord you taught us this principle and many even unbeliever are applying it so help us father to learn some simple uh, lessons from J Jacob today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, so let's stand minutes. Yes, we'll be locked out. Do you have any questions? No, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, no questions. Okay, I think Ma'am Anna has questions. No, I don't have. <laughs> okay. So you learn something strange from the Bible, right? Okay. So <laughs> money answer it all things. Money is not the problem, but money can solve the problem. <laughs> okay. Goodbye and may God.